Hello, happy Friday, you guys. I just bashed into this little table. Okay, got so much to share today. This is one of my favorite shopping events of the year. So much beauty, so many recommendations. I have so many new items to share with you guys that, um, I, don't, I mean, it gets me excited because it's a sale, but for certain beauty brands, I mean, they don't always go on sale. And I like to be able to have like a deal associated with like what I'm recommending to you, you know, so it is extra exciting. So a lot of these things are things I've had for a while or just things that I may have gotten fairly recently. Uh, things that are just must have, ooh, like makeup beauty things that, um, that you can get during this that are, they're my absolute favorites, game changing makeup, things that I just think are the best of the best of all time. And I think during this sale, uh, which starts today for Rouge members, uh, the 20% off Sephora thing, and then the different tiers will kind of follow as the days go on and I will put all that info below. I don't want to bore you with all the details. Um, cause you can just read about it anyways in the more info below and I'll have the codes and the link and all that. But, um, if you are in a different tier, I always say, go ahead and get your cart started. I'm going to show you what's in mine. I've had like the little favorites section going for a while. And then I always move it into the cart, you know, like when I shop, is this top doing funny? I love tops like this. I think they're so flattering. Whether you have like a smaller chest or a big, I used to wear stuff like this all the time before and I just really love it now still, but um, just flattering, right? And then I kind of just barely tucked the front in, but it's just so easy and um, such a good top to wear any time of year. Put it on with like a jacket, you know, during the colder months, but I really, really love it and I will link to it and um, the jeans that I'm wearing and the earrings and all that good stuff. And I'll link to the makeup, which most of it I'm gonna show in the video. But um, you guys, I'm just really excited. And they're doing something different this year where there's going to be a certain block of dates during the event which again you can look below and it's going to be 30 percent off for everybody for um sephora brand stuff which i have oh i think i put it back did i bring it down yeah i put it back i gotta go get this brush that i've been using for my eyes um hold on a second let me go get it all right, now we can begin. I had to go get these too. So I've got just a lot of good things, a lot of different things, um, hair things too. And um, I have a new hair tool that I really like, which is kind of odd for me. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to address the last video and just not thank you guys because I don't know, like I put out things because it's my channel and I'm, I'm going to talk about like what I want to talk about anyways and just be real. But like, Sometimes you put out videos and you think, you, know, you almost get that feeling where you're not excited to post them. And that's pretty rare because usually I just won't post it. But I posted that anyways. It was a video about like, I don't want to say dieting, but just like how I eat and just being real about like my thoughts on, you know, body image and what's realistic, what isn't, what you're being sold, I think, in a lot of cases on social media and YouTube and the like fakery of it all and you know what someone feels good about talking about like oh that's working for them is not making everyone that's watching it feel great you know like everybody's different not everyone can relate to you this uh, some size you know zero to person that it just seems unrealistic for a lot of people because if they ate that way that wouldn't happen. It's just a lot. Do you know what I mean? And so I was very sensitive to that. And I never want to make anybody feel bad, obviously. Um, you know, we're not perfect. Like people say things sometimes. We're not going to please everybody. And so I thought, you know, I'm just going to post it because I spoke from my heart. I don't think I said anything offensive. I really did it from a place of wanting others to feel good. And I thought, oh, I just I hope that it's not icky. And um, I was so, I was more nervous posting that than any video I think I've ever put up. But I know that's dumb to say. I've done video about, videos about boobs, videos about personal things, videos about, my God, listen to our podcast every week, you guys. You think that what we talk about here is, I mean, it's night and day. You know, and I, we always feel good about that because like a, it's personal, but we're just being real. So I got the best comments from that. And I, you know, it made me feel good. And I, I take the good and the bad and... I never expect to always have everything be great, um, and I don't expect that. Don't I mean? I question why people waste their time watching something that they don't, they don't like or 
you know, speaking words to someone if they don't, but that really happens and I'm proud of that. I think hopefully the people watching are here because they, they just, they like it. And I am so happy that that video was so well received. And, um, you know, on some level, I'm like, God, Tiffany, like you did it with the right intentions. Like you knew it would be, and it wasn't anything groundbreaking, but I know that is a touchy subject and it is something that, um, that I definitely don't take lightly and that people really do struggle with. And so I was like, you know, but I'm glad that you guys got what I was saying and that a lot of you, I mean, we had really great conversations just in the comments, you know, and I'm just very happy about that. So thank you for that. Okay. I don't know. Um, Let's talk about this. Okay, so the sale. Like I said, if you are Rouge today, shop. Um, ooh, it's Thursday, so I might try to get this up tonight. So hopefully you can start building your cart for Friday. Oh my gosh. So I got some stuff to do tonight. I gotta get through this. Okay, let me tell you guys some things that I think is, is worth it. So during the sale, obviously stock up on your skincare. I feel like a broken record, I always say this. Try things that are more expensive, like tools, or you know, maybe buy a perfume that you've been eyeing or something. I don't really heat style my hair. Now, this is on second day with a vinegar rinse okay not even with a shampoo i didn't even vinegar rinse this morning this is like second day from two days ago vinegar rinsing my hair okay and i'll talk about what i use for that you guys okay you know y'all know i went through a whole thing with my hair the, the blonde and the short and, you know went through the extensions and the this and the that and i just years ago when i took them out i thought okay i'm gonna be super blonde and short bob whatever and then I thought, I'm going to get it super, super blonde. That's going to be my thing. I went back too much, got it too blonde, broke off to hell and back. And then I've just been growing it out over the last, I don't know, two, three-ish years. I started growing it out well before I know, you know, things shut down and everything. So it was kind of good during that point because I, you know, wasn't going anyways. I have a few products that really helped me with that too. Oh, this is leaking. That's not good. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Um, but a lot of these products got me through that. Anyway, so I mostly, I don't do much heat styling, okay? Um, it's gotten to a really great place. This is 100% my natural color. Um, maybe a little remnants at the end of, I don't even know. I think it's pretty much all my natural color now. I just grew it out, okay? I didn't go get a professional dye job to co cover up all of it and go brown again and then it faded. Like, no. Um, I just let the blonde grow out. Now, let me tell you, very careful with heat styling, very careful with damaging my hair. Um, I let it air dry most days. And then when you see my hair, like I'm wearing it straight, you know that I've washed my hair that morning and that I've either just let it dry nice and straight or I've put some like, like a blow dryer on it. But then I don't wash my hair every single day. So the second and third day is gonna be ponytail day because when I sleep on it, even if I put it up in a silk thing and do the best, it's gonna look wonky. And the ends might not look as sleek. It's going to look all like, okay, it's been in a mom bun. You know that look. But I don't want to use a straightening, straightening iron. I don't really know what to do there. I don't want to wet it all over again. So I had kind of been curious about these. And I've used the Revlon one years ago. Um, the Revlon one is tricky, okay? Now this I used today. My hair was not like, I mean, you got to understand. This is like, my hair is not super clean, okay? So it doesn't have like a, a ton of like, you know fluff to it <laughs> but I like that I think that's what keeps it healthy right I don't want to just wash the hell out of it every day so what I did is I used this and I'm, so I used this now, tell you, now I've used this on wet hair too and I will tell you for me I don't go like super wet to dry it's perfect because it it just is the right amount of like heat you can turn it up it's got a lot of different settings this is really quality. It's about 100 bucks. You could get it on sale now, obviously, which that's when I would definitely suggest to do it. But the Revlon ones, yeah. You say, oh, but they're 30, 40 bucks. And if you use it, sure, you see these dramatic results. But what is it doing to your hair over, over time? The Revlon one snagged me. And what's interesting is that this is one solid piece, okay? It's a tourmaline-coated barrel for ions, uh, minimizing frizz, shine, blah, blah, blah. It's all one piece. Now the Revlon one or the other ones that you see have like that little like connections that have like the metal pieces that then heat up that can over time really fry out your hair. So be careful with that. But I think this is worth every penny. There's ones that I've seen that are like $150 more. This is a great one. It's the um, Amica. It's very nice and solid and I love the shape of the barrel. So I can use this wet, but what I really love is that you know, and again, like I've never been like a brush your hair while you dry it person, but it's not like you're doing that. You're just kind of like smoothing it, which I like. 
because I'm not trying to straighten my hair because it's naturally straight. I just want it to look sleek, right? But on that second, third day hair, you know, you could turn it on the low and it just gets that like crease out of your hair. It makes it shiny. And um, I, all I did is I just put in a little bit of, did I even bring that down? No, I didn't because I used it. The um, I'll link to it, the shine spray that I used, the way it's not shine, heat protectant spray. And it's not one of those that's gonna feel like a hairspray that then snags and dries. I think those are so useless. Like, I can't even believe that I used to use stuff like that. It's very, it's an aerosol, so it's very like lightweight, the mist, so it gets all over, but it doesn't dry like a hairspray. It just makes your hair pretty sleek. So yeah, I mean, it's good. It's like, I can get my hair to where I can like, but whatever, if you, I think that you guys would like that, okay? Just, just try it, it's good and um, better than the cheapo ones. Because again, like I said, the cheapo ones, you're gonna use it and be like, wow, what a difference, but what is it doing to your hair over time, okay? Um, hair, let me talk. I love the Colleen Rothschild shampoo and conditioner. It's really the only like shampoo, shampoo I'll use. I love it. Um, and I told you, oh, I can't believe this spilled out. I put it in sideways and broken hearted. Okay. This is something that no matter what hair brand you're loyal to, no matter what, they probably don't make something like this. And you can add this in with any routine, which I love. Okay. I love a product like that, that you can just add in to anything, right? You don't have to shake up what you're using. Um, it is the Deepy Hue ACV, and I use the one that says light, the Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse Light. Okay, let me set this up right, because I don't want to waste a little drippy drop of that. It's my second bottle, and what you do with it. So the light says it's for, like, fine hair. They have a regular one. I'm pretty sure I could use that, too. I don't know what it would do, but I've just always bought the one that says light, like lightweight. I don't know. So you take the little nozzle. The, the, idea, is, the idea is that even if you wash your hair every other day or whatever, usually like we need to just kind of like rinse and clean our scalp but do we need to be sudsing it up is that necessary you can definitely prolong your shampoo you can do this to kind of like help with like the balance of your hair and just get the oils out and I really feel like that has helped with shine I feel like my hair looks better than ever again today we're going on like I mean it's not the cleanest and freshest but you know I feel like it looks pretty good considering um or just like a pony, if you know, I'm just gonna wear it in a ponytail, but I need to wash it, but I don't need to like fully suds it up. You take the little, you know, get in the shower, do whatever you do, take the little nozzle and just kind of put a little in, and then you just kind of massage it into your scalp, let it sit for a couple minutes, rinse it out, and then your hair is great. Now, Colleen Rothschild stuff, I mean, of course, they are a great big brand, but you have to think like smaller businesses and stuff, supply chain issues, special ingredients it's not like just some big manufactured wholesale shit that everybody can get you know their hair stuff is very popular it is very like in demand and when you when it comes up it is like it it sells out so there's times that i can't get the um conditioner and recently you know they've been out of stock for quite some time they should be coming back soon so i'll update and we'll have a whole big thing with that and we'll have a party but um but yeah, nothing compares to those. It is, it's the best of all time. But since I love the ACV so much, I, I tried this because I needed a conditioner. It's the apple cider vinegar hair mask. And um, it has like a very, um, almost like masculine scent. So I, I mean, anyone could use it. You know, it's not like, super, I mean, I don't know, whatever. But it's very fresh smelling. It's like a whipped, feel. it's a very interesting texture conditioner. And that's the conditioner I've been loving. And um, again, something else, DP Hue. I've talked about this for years. I have not used it recently, but I thought I might use it and just see what it does because I bet you it'll be pretty. When I was growing out my hair, this stuff saved me. So this is the light brown. I also used, I think, the dark blonde one a lot. And then even there was a time I tried the Auburn and got kind of crazy. But, um, you know, I was growing out bleach blonde hair, you guys, like with a line coming this way. And, you know, it's cute and all until it gets to about, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to, I mean, I even went, I think I did get a root shadow where just one time they did a little shadow. And then it, it you know, just to kind of make it look not so like, meow. and that washes out, you know, a semi-permanent thing isn't going to like last forever. But, you know, you need to kind of, like, soften that line. This saved me, and this is what helped me grow out my hair. So if you're in that position where you're like, I want to get back to my natural color, I want to grow out this bleach without just coloring over it, coloring over it, coloring over it, which never lasts anyways, um, and is expensive, and is just, it's chemicals on chemicals on chemicals, just try this, and it's a, um, it's the Gloss Semi-Permanent Hair Color and Deep Conditioner. You can use it as much as you want. It's so great. And um, it really helped me grow my hair out. And oh, here's the light brown. I think I went or dark blonde, I mean, dark blonde is what I use, dark blonde and light brown 
are the two colors that I really like. To get a lighter color than you think that you're going to, especially if you're, like, it was going over, like, blonde, blonde hair, okay? So, I don't know. I just really love that. Okay. So, um, another thing, as far as recs that I already have, devices, again, we talked about the blow dryer, the new face device, you guys, I love, I just got the, from the jump, I used it on full blast, like, on the highest setting, because I thought I'm not going to get have to like work up, you know, and get used. I just got used to the strongest and I don't even really feel it because I think I'm doing it right. Like you, you shouldn't see your face twitching. I see, I saw someone demonstrating this one time and first of all, they were using it backwards, but they were just like holding it and it was just like, no, what you need to do, and this is what they tell you to do. This is what statisticians that have used this exact on me in, um, what was I trying to say, in facials, this is what they do. You go one pass, two pass, three. But you do it slow like this, and it'll beep. It'll go beep, and then you go, and then it'll beep when you're done with that section. Obviously, don't be wearing earrings. You don't want any metal touching it, but it's great. It kind of tones your face. It lifts this area. It kind of prevents, you know, sagging and really kind of like structures and contours your face. So I would definitely recommend that. I'll talk about what I use with that because that's what's very important so they sell different serums I think I bought one that was like the silk lift serum and I really liked it but I did notice that I did get a little bit of clogging like in my cheeks I never ever get like breakouts or anything in my cheeks I thought maybe that's what's causing it so I stopped using it I've never had any more problems but you can't use as I found out by one of you guys um, products with oils in it under um, microcurrent devices because the oils um, and then I read about this late I mean it's a thing like it kind of blocks the current in a certain way or it just it's just not the conductor that you want so they do sell things that are more like water-based gels and stuff and I'm like I just don't want a product on a product on a product so I just started using it with my moisturizer this is an oil-free moisturizer I have a brand new one upstairs this is probably my second or third one that I've even used at this I love this it's the oil-free moisture cushion you can use that morning and night but um and it layers great too, like I've even, because I love a facial oil, you can use that and then, or use that over the oil. I don't know, it's just, it's a whole thing. I just love it. So what you need to do is put on like a layer of cream and it has to be a little sticky, okay? Like not just like a, not like totally un, you know, like caked up, but totally, you can't just have it completely rubbed in or you're going to feel the little pops. Like you shouldn't feel pain from that device. You're going to feel it doing a little tingle. But you shouldn't feel like pain it shouldn't be painful to use at all and if it is that means you need to put on more lotion like you just don't have it wet enough um so i have been doing that and that's what i like okay this is also very good if you have fine lines you can maybe have some lines on your forehead i get um like crow's feet here i'm not kidding you guys this has been a game changer especially since i have not had botox in so long and used to once i was used to it like i mean it's totally worn off but you know, this is what, what I would start noticing a lot. This is really changed that whole thing. Now, I do love the serum that you use with that, the Line Smoothing Serum. When you buy this, it comes with one, but then I've also bought another one. how much I love it. But this is the Line device. Now, this is something, I mean, obviously, they're two totally different things for two totally different things. This one is for, like, large, like, lifting areas. This is for, like, think, like, crow's feet. Um, if you have, like, any deep lines or anything, you put the smoother and you don't want to get like right up under your eye well, I'm not doing that but like right here do you know what I mean like this area and kind of like I do have like a deep thing there and I really haven't seen it lately and I think it's because and I that that used to be always my tell like okay I know I need Botox because my line is back you know and um which who cares but I'm just saying that's how you could always kind of gauge it not that that's good or bad but like this really does help and so um yeah you turn it on you put the little stuff on but it just feels like a little vibration and you use it like now this one doesn't beep or anything it just says do it like an eraser so up and down side to side circles imagine like something's on your face and you're trying to like cover it up or erase it do you know what I mean you kind of do like little eraser motions and um, it kind of like plumps your skin in those areas I think I've even seen people like use this on lips and stuff I don't know I've never done that plumps lines kind of makes that area smooth and just kind of fills in fine lines Okay, this, you guys, oh, we'll get to makeup in a second, but let me get through some other stuff, some skincare stuff. Obviously, this is always a recommendation, the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. I know I, I mention that every single video that we do one of these. This, you guys, I have been saving since last year, the year before Jasmine. I bought so many of these over the years, and I even got into the one that was the coconut, 
And I thought I liked that one better, but then when I went back to the Jasmine, I don't know, I just really love it. It's the Glowing Hydration Body Oil. This makes your skin look like, like, like you've airbrushed it or something, like just glowy. It's just one of those products that like makes your skin color pop, whether you're super pale or tan or like super dark skinned. Like this is just one of those products that makes your skin like, ooh, like yes, like glow. Smells so good, but not super strong. I think I do prefer the Jasmine. So I've been using it lately again, and I am loving it. I used it a ton last spring and summer and then the year before too. I can't tell you how many of those I've gone through, but I think I'm gonna buy two of them during the sale um, I, because I just absolutely love those. Okay. I brought a bunch of makeup. I, I fully have like a, it's not all in here. It's not like full, it's just at the bottom. It's like all I had in my bathroom. And let me show you some makeup, okay? So I'm gonna actually repurchase my foundation. I have been back on the Luminous Silk, which is the um, Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. It covers beautifully, I mean, builds beautifully, finish is gorgeous. I'm using shade 4.5. Then I might get like the five for the summertime. And then I've been using the 4.75 and the under eye um, concealer. Well, it's just a concealer in general. This is the best concealer. You guys don't mess around with anything else. It will not settle into your fine lines. It just makes your skin look like porcelain. It's so smoothing. It's not drying, so it doesn't look cakey there. You can use it on blemishes. It's just a, a good all around amazing concealer. Great for like highlighting. Sometimes I'll pull like a little here, but I'll be honest. The colors are very confusing because the 4.75 is still pretty light. So I think I'm going to buy a darker shade. A few makeup brushes. Okay, I'm going to buy another one of these. So, I, you know, I'm very much like no nonsense when it comes to throwing stuff out. And inspired things, gross, no time for it. We don't do that. This one says 30 months. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. It is a powder blush. I mean, I know powder products tend to last longer. But I busted this back out. And oh my gosh, I forgot how great this was. This is what I've been wearing lately. It is the Pillow Talk Blush by Charlotte Tilbury and it has that little like, you know, it's kind of a very like radiant finish. It's not shiny, it just looks like skin. I'm so sick of all the matte stuff, which I think most of us have been for a while. I saw the other day, who was I think it was on like Kourtney Kardashian's thing, which why is this always open? Um, glazed donut skin. If we start having a moment, like the whole baked thing and the this and the that, where we start calling skin that looks like skin glazed donut skin. I cannot. It's just reinventing the wheel. It's another name for another name for another name for another name. We're not suckers. We've been doing this here for quite some time. And if you've been following along, we already know how to do that, okay? We're just not doing things. Don't put something on your skin that isn't a skin finish. Matte is fine. I just don't get it. it has nothing to do with if your skin's oily, dry, whatever. You just want things to look like skin no matter what. This is a good one, okay? And they have the Pillow Talk Regular, and then they have the Pillow Talk Deep. Um, but this one is very, very good, okay? It's honestly, I have to be careful with it because it will look a little dark. So if you're fair, don't be, or, or even if you're a little more tan than I am, I think that will be just fine. Um, and then, okay, let me talk. Obviously, we've talked about this for a long time. The Lash Sheet Oil by Lancome, such a great, um, mascara that's what I'm wearing today it has good like soft ingredients so your lashes stay nice and then I've recently tried the um the the uh, Edol the liner Edol ultra precise waterproof liner in the same line and you guys so good the Lancome liner I love it that's what I've been wearing lately too um one more skin well a few more makeup things have some lip things these are great. If you guys haven't tried these, that's what I'm wearing today. I don't have on any other bronzer. I'm just wearing this and then the Pillow Talk, the Iconic Drops. They're highlight drops, and this is in the shade Glow. And it's perfect to put, like, you know, there, it has a dropper, but I just kind of touch it to the tip of my beauty blender, and I apply it like I would, you know, my Chanel Bronze Universal or a bronzer, you know, not like hard contouring, but you just put it on here, kind of take it up your hairline, you know, kind of do that whole thing like this. A little circle, not circle, but you know what I mean. And then a little on the side of my nose. It is such a good product, really is long wearing. And it doesn't look shiny. Don't let the word illuminator scare you. It's not like glittery or crazy. But I will say I was off of highlighter for a while. And I think I was, I was just trying a bunch of different things. And then I went back to this, you guys. If you've been watching me for years, why do we ever try anything else? This is the best. That's what I'm wearing today. So I've been wearing it a lot of like like recent videos and posts and stuff and I can tell a difference. I have a little on my nose, but it's the Matte Radiance um, Highlight by um, 
Laura Mercier. And don't let the word matte fool you again because it is beautiful. It's it's a high, well, I mean, it's just, it looks like this, okay? It's a highlighter that doesn't look chalky. It doesn't look too metallic -y, has no specks of shimmer, no flecks of glitter. It's what we love, okay? And the highlight on one is good because I think it would blend with a lot of like skin shades and tones. Then they have one that's a little bit darker and a little bit darker, like yummy, just the yummiest highlighter. And then like on darker skin, those darker colors would be pretty too, but I really want to get the, but this would be beautiful on dark skin too. I really want to get the one that might be just a shade darker than that. That's the bronzer. Cause I think that would be pretty just to, whatever. Or maybe even like the darker one and use it as a bronzer, but Matt, that might be too shiny. Okay. Um, a few more things. Um, okay, a few more makeup-y things. Okay, this, you guys, if you haven't tried this, and I do have some things in my... This is going to be such... So many links, but again, like, you're welcome. This is just... It's good Rex. okay? This is the only... One of the only eyeshadow... Pretty much the only eyeshadow palettes that I've been using lately. I've just been using, like, the little pots or the sticks if I do use eyeshadow. But if I use a powder eyeshadow, this is what I've been using. It is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Darling eyeshadow palette. It's pretty popular. A little goes a long way, so I just feel like I'll never get through this thing. I do have one that's similar to this that's in my cart, too, that we'll talk about. And then on my lips today, I'm wearing the Bronzel, the Lancome Bronzel. Bronzel and the Natural Mauve are some of the best liners that you'll ever find. I recently repurchased some MAC ones and busted out a few of my other brands, but something about this Lancome, you guys, especially if you're like me, and a lot of days you just do a liner and then like a clear gloss, this will stay on all day. And it's got the little brush on the end. The bronzel, you can't go wrong. Get the bronzel, okay? Um, and then the uh, lipstick that I wore with it today, which I'm in love with. And you guys will recognize this too. This is an old favorite. The Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria. If you, well, if you have not tried this, best lipstick ever. Not goopy. Can't even tell that it's on. But it's just the most perfect, comfortable color. And um, let's talk about a few brushes. So, again, the Sephora stuff, like I said, is going to be 30% off. And I'll put the dates and everything below. This little brush, it's the number 24, the Pro Crease, is the best, most unique eyeshadow brush I've ever had. And you might be like, what's the difference? Now, we are not suckers. We are not fools. Like, we have tried every single brush brand. And then every single brush brand that came along to copy that. And then every single brush brand that came along to copy that. They all are this, I mean... Some quality is better than others, obviously. It's just like any makeup brand. They've all got blushes. They've all got foundations. They've all got this and that. Brush brands are the same, but they all kind of end up exactly the same. And everyone's got a crease brush. And when they get more precise or when they get smaller, they get harder. This one, you guys, is a small-ish. Okay, it's not small-small. I mean, I used it for my outer corner. I used it for my crease. It is a small crease brush that is fluffy and soft, and I have never used anything like it. I have used brushes that look like this, but that are too hard. This you could blend. It is so good, and I have larger eyes. I don't know. And it's sometimes these, these crease brushes are too big for me. It's like, well, just a wash of color. It's just it ends up blowing out too much. I'm like, well, how do I... This is what you need. I think Irene needs this brush. It's so good. It's the 24. Okay, try that and get it during the 30% off. Um, and then, I'm guessing, right? It's all, I think it's Sephora brand, you may have to check me on that. I think it's all the Sephora brand stuff. Okay, whatever, I'll put the, the this is a brush I've had for years and years, and it is the Pro Highlight. Now, mine I've washed many times, but it might look a little, I, mean, I think when I got it, it was probably a little straighter, but it just gets better and better, you guys. It doesn't need to be straight. It's better the more that I wash it. This is the highlight brush that I always go back to. I've used so many highlight brushes. Every brand's got something different than the next and the next and the next and then the same and the same and the same. This is unique and it is, it's simple but it's unique. It's the best highlight brush ever. Now it looks big, but like when you touch it to your skin, you can do a small, like just how it, you know, very precise or you can get a bigger area. You could dust it over a large area right on the tip of your nose. It's just the best highlight brush and I can't explain why but trust me I will link to that and then this I finally got a new one of these I've been using the same little smudgy eye brush for years it's not quite as sharp it is sharp okay but it's soft and it blends like a dream and it's the makeup forever 212 I'm sorry but like it's it's so good and I haven't had many makeup forever brushes 
that's a good one. We've talked about all those things. Let me tell you what is in my cart, okay? Because I'm not a sucker. I'm not shopping until I'm going to save this 20%. These are things that I've already had and things that I just think that you'll love. So I have another Sephora brush, which they're pretty affordable anyways. This is the Pro Shadow Brush 10. You see that? I think that looks like a good one. It looks a little larger than like a typical shadow brush, but it's not like, God, I got so much stuff in my car. Like the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant, which I love. I usually pick that up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but um, I'm going to get it while it's on sale because I know I'm going to need some more. Um, a darker shade in the concealer I talked about, a darker shade in the foundation. Okay, this is another version of that Charlotte Tilbury little um, thing. It's the Super Nudes. That one looks good. It's got a black, and I think it's, um, then it's like, I think I do have kind of too much. I don't know if I've had this before. There are things that you've thought about, like, makeup-wise, and you're like, that looks familiar. Did I have that in another life? I mean, pretty much, as long as we've been doing this. <laughs> Maybe I had this 15 years ago, guaranteed. No, I don't know. Don't even think they were doing this. But it's the, um, it's like an, it's a Charlotte Tilbury, which y'all know I love Charlotte Tilbury, but it's like all in one. So you've got these good eyeshadows. This color over here, the big one, is a highlight. The big one on the other side is a bronzer. And then the two colors in the middle are blushes. And I'm like, how genius for, like, traveling and stuff. Okay, actually, this. I, I feel like I'm good with basic eyeshadows. I think I'm going to get rid of all those other ones. I need to get all that shit. That's, like, too expensive. I think I'm going to just try something fun. The Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I think I'm going to get this one. They have a perfume, the Tom Ford Bitter Peach, that I tried, actually, when I was shopping in store last year for the, um, I guess it was like last July or August for the anniversary sale. And um, the woman that I worked with was like, hey, you know, spray this. And I liked it, the bitter peach. And I'm telling you guys, if you want a good peach perfume, which I hope that they sell this here because they did not have my beloved Jo Malone Silk Blossom. They didn't have that at Sephora. But I know that they have Jo Malone stuff. It's the one that's the nectarine and honey. That is a great peach scented like nectarine perfume because it's kind of hard to find those that have like real a true peach uh, thing and that was um and that's that that's what I've got you guys I just really always say take advantage of this sale I will link to all of these things I think through this you obviously got a taste of a lot of my favorites and um, some things that I definitely would recommend uh, makeup wise things that I've been loving tips set up your cart now if you can't shop for the next you know if you're on a different tier or whatever get everything ready now get everything in your cart so that when your tier hits you can just check out um i hope that this kind of helps you i will link to all these exact things i talked about everything that thing that i'm wearing today and um i love you guys so much i hope that you have a good week definitely definitely subscribe to our podcast for more for things that you would never get here and we talk parenting and personal things going on and some kind of pop culture stuff that I would not talk about here or things that get a little, um, maybe a little too much to talk about like somewhere here, but, um, or you feel me, if you're there, you get it, but I really love you guys. Now I got to take this stuff back up and, and do some major organizing and putting away, but anyways, y'all happy shopping. I will talk to you guys very soon and yeah, I'll see you guys again next Friday. Bye.